talk to this annoying guy. Hello again. Here we go again. She said they were only okay. Do you know a woman named Ilse? Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah. It wasn't hard every day. Can you tell me anything about the Salachi Mausoleum? Sour Cherry Blasters? Ah, mm-hmm. The Mausoleum, mm. The place where the Salachi family bury their dead. The site of, of burial, the center of internment, hmm. The dominant plane, clearly indicated, form directed towards you, all life surging from a center, e e expanding from within outwards. Mm. Can you tell me anything about the mausoleum? No. Sorry. I was useless. Hello again, Mel. No, I know how you'd love to talk. Do you know anything about... Hello? Hello? Maybe this is a time... Oh! What do I need to do? Oh my god! I cannot be at a comfortable temperature to save my life. That's the thing I hate about the winter. I'm either too hot or too cold. I can't I can't be just right. You know. I'm going back to my office just to check it out. We were at like a Christmas expo thingy where, you know, it was kind of designed to buy gifts and stuff like that for people. Right before the holidays, we bought almost all food for ourselves. I mean... We bought cheese, we bought candy, I bought tea. Can't remember what else. Yeah, food for ourselves. I went with it was a giant convention like an expo like there was a huge number of vendors there and they had crafts and stuff like that so you could like shop for Christmas Christmas stuff just crafts and stuff it's actually not bad <clears throat> but they had a lot of people selling food It's hard to resist food. So we bought a lot of food. Where do I go? I don't know what to do. sang under the stage name of Madame Lodestone. I'd also heard that she was dead. I wanted to find where th I knew the streets, but high society family trees were like women, complex and incomprehensible. At Nobby had told me that there were some mysterious murders in Ankh Morpork in the last few days. Well, 
I, I mean like cheese and you know homemade candy and stuff like that not like not like meals We didn't buy any meals there. We actually brought our meal with us to eat there. Because we knew it was going to be overpriced. And it was. Where am I going? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Guys, I think I might need a hint. I think I might need a hint on what to do next because I'm stuck. I think I might just be going the wrong direction and trying to solve the wrong, the wrong thing. <clears throat> I think I might just be thinking I need to break into this warehouse, warehouse or through the mausoleum and maybe I'm just like completely on the wrong track. Maybe there's some other thing I need to do or something I need to trigger. I don't know. I couldn't carry them. Let's try to use my crowbar on the crates, I guess. I mean, I don't think he'll let me, but we can try. Damn it. Useful though they are, an exit is... I was never going to get anywhere if I didn't learn to resist the urge to use the crowbar at every available opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. tell what the I know, right? I thought this world two actually wasn't too bad. This world one was like, oh my god, it was a, it was a, that that one was like, you need the hints for like every single puzzle. All the puzzles were just moon logic. I feel like I'm just missing something, like some key thing like I didn't talk to somebody about something or I have a crowbar I have a crowbar I have a note and I have a piece of card or scrap of cardboard and a purse that's what's in my inventory oh, I'm missing an inventory item is that what you're telling me oh I'm missing an inventory item at the mausoleum all right We might, we might have to moon logic this one. But maybe not. I don't know. Me not being able to solve it doesn't necessarily mean it's moon logic. Uh oh. Uh oh. I tried to find Thurma's Jeez. grave, but it was a waste of time. You'd need to be an expert. All right, that's that. that we, we're not finding anything, so I don't think there's anything to find here. I don't think there's anything to find here. There's nothing here. It's just the Salachi family muscle. I can click on them to look. More and I can double click on them to do stuff. I mean I guess I could use my notebook on them. 
the central atrium of the mausoleum. I guess on some nights it must have been quite a beautiful sight. I like the sky as much as the next man. But it wasn't exactly something I could pick up and put... Yeah, I don't see anything here. I'm not seeing anything here. I see tombs, that's it. And I can't do anything with them. So I don't think that's the answer. Maybe the workshop? Nothing like a cu Get out of my way! You're in the way of the exit, dude! All I knew about the statue was that it was a work in progress. I didn't have any reason to steal Rodin's statue. Didn't you know? Am I see oh, grapple! I don't know why I thought stealing the grapple would be easier than talking to Malachite. I wasn't about to try taking anything off Malachite's purse. He'd crush me like a bu- I still wanted the grapple that Malachite was carrying, but I had no idea how to get him to give it to me. Hello again, Malachite. No, I know how you'd love to- So how you been keeping- How many trolls want me to This game is jank. Well, there's the grapple, but how do I get it? Does this mean Malachite? Oh, maybe I can train him the crowbar. Maybe, maybe I can train him the crowbar. Tempting as it was, I decided not to start attacking. I didn't, I didn't want to attack Although the, the crowbar, crowbar was a lot heavier than a set of skeleton keys, I guess if lock picks were invented. Can you read this? Don't know. Does this Malachite listen to what? He wasn't what you'd call the prince of repartee. I suppressed the urge to ask. I was bro Tempting as it was. Okay, now I need to figure out how to get the grapple. So, okay, there's a grapple here. And apparently I need to get it for some reason. Probably to get into the warehouse. Would be my guess. No, there's nothing else I can ask him. That's it. Malachite was actually Hello again, Mal No. I mean I know I can ask him stuff in my notebook. So how you been keeping? I can do that. But then it's just I have the wave, which is goodbye, and the notebook. So, do you know anything? Hello, hello. Maybe. I hate to be her. I do too, but I don't know where it is. It'd be really you. 
Thurma. Find Thurma. Yes, I know that part, but... Fine. Malachite wasn't being... But he was tall and threatening, so I get... I still wanted the grapple of Malak. I wasn't about to eat crap. Who would know something? Maybe. What are we missing? Let's let's ask him about Malachite, I guess, and see if we can get something related to that. I I don't know. He was here, I think, or he was around. Hello again. Hello. I don't suppose you know. Not Mount Malachite. Describe him. Big, tall, stupid, not very talkative. That's the one. He went down for theft years ago. I seem to remember he had a accomplice. An accomplice? Yeah. He denied it, but we all thought he was working with someone. I don't reckon he was the brains of the outfit. What happened? He escaped. Not that long ago, either. As far as I know, he's on the lam. Why? You've seen him? No. Just interested. I mean, that seems relevant. Yet not a clue. Okay. Malachite, I know you're on the run. But I didn't write anything down. Hello again. Hello. I could hardly ca All I had to do was track down Mundy and tell Carlotta where he was. Thanks for the one bit, Brave Star. Thanks for the 100 Brits, Gregory! Hey look, that got you a taco token. Look at that! There was nothing I could do with this. Bluetooth. 100 bits, Yaya. Thanks for the 100 bits. Brave Star, that got you a taco token too. There was nothing I could do. I'm looking at- I don't know what to find. Look at my office. Like, what- what would be here? Oh, there's a note! There's a freaking note! The note had been pushed under my door by Carlotta. Luton, I am anxious to see you again and to find out how the case is going. Come to the Von Uberwald mansion on Moon Pond Lane. Carlotta Von Uberwald. So, Carlotta was a member of the Von Uberwalds. One of the richest and most reclusive families in Ankh-Morpork. That explained why she could afford to offer to pay me so much. It didn't explain why she hadn't got around Man. to paying me yet. But I could wait. 
at least until the rent was due. All right, that got us a new location. All right, we, we, we've opened things up a little bit now. The hype train is close. Uber. I don't know what they said. Uber something. I don't know. I'm gonna Uber over there. I heard Uber, so... Uber. I also do know that me gifting subs does not do anything for a hype train. We've, te we've tested this before. I already had a bad feeling about the Monday case. But learning that so. my employer was a Von Uberwald didn't fill me with confidence. I didn't know the facts about the Von Uberwalds, but the rumors were bad enough. May I help you, sir? You could let me in for a start. Very good, sir. And don't call me sir. As you wish, sir. May I take your coat and hat, sir? Uh, thanks, but no. no. I can't make it without them. That must make it difficult to clean them. Was that a joke? I never joke, sir. It's not my job. I may lie, dissemble, or deceive, but I never joke. Look, I don't want you to take my coat, okay? But of course, sir. You're all awesome. Sir, it's welcome to drip all over the immaculate hardwood floor that I spent several hours polishing this morning, because sir is a guest, and sir is entitled to do whatever sir wishes. I have an invitation from Carlotta. Ah, Sarah is as quick to reach the point of Sarah's visit as a tortoise with a war wound is in crossing a very large desert. I will. This is Robert Llewellyn. Sir, provided Sarah would be so kind as to wait here and not to touch the valuable and irreplaceable furniture that adorns the room Sarah is currently dripping on. I'll see what I can do. That's Robert Llewellyn. I can tell. Can you tell? Can you tell that's Robert Llewellyn? Cause I can. Like I knew he, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have known if I didn't know that he was in the game. But now that I know he's in the game, I know that it's him. I confess, I was consumed with avarice, but I wasn't about to steal an entire staircase. I've watched him in two things, basically. I've watched him in two things. I've watched him, one, in Red Dwarf. He does Crichton. He, do, he doesn't have... He does an American accent. I've watched him in... Uh, I think it was called, like, Junk Wars or something like that. There was a show called Junk Wars that he did. Where basically people would build mechanisms out of junk. From a junkyard. And then he didn't use an American accent, so I've heard him use both of both both his both his normal voice and his his American voice. The book was an old edition of Twerp's Peerage, probably a collector's item. Why do rich families feel the need to leave old, valuable books lying around in their reception halls? It's bad enough that they have so much more money than you, without rubbing it in. The book was about the lineage and heraldry of the nobility of the city of Ankh. I didn't understand much of it, but I noticed that there were handwritten corrections in it. The book was... I didn't understand... Alright, so here, here's the question. Do I use my notebook and this on the book? There didn't seem to be any obvious connection to the book. No. Interesting. The book was a... I didn't... Un the book was an old edition of Twerp's Peerage. Probably a collector's item. 
Why do rich It's bad. Okay. Well, that doesn't really help me. Do I go up the stairs? Do I? I was told to wait here, wasn't I? I feel like this isn't working out well. This whole waiting thing isn't working well. No. Oh. I'll say this for the von Oberwalds. They had class. There weren't many homes in Ankh-Mor Park with a window that could take your breath away. Well, maybe in Unseen University, but I'd heard that they had windows there that could literally take your breath away. I confess, I was consumed with avarice, but I wasn't about to steal an entire staircase. Oh, come on, steal the whole staircase! Do it. I really want to steal the book, but it won't let me. The book was about... I didn't understand. Best to leave. Oh, maybe I can look up the. Uh, maybe I can. Damn it, that's not what I meant. I'll to say do. this. There will maybe in a. Maybe I can use the name on it. I hadn't thought about that. Maybe I can use the actual name, not the. Uh, They weren't mentioned in the peerage. Alright, maybe... They weren't mentioned in the peerage. Okay. There didn't seem to be any... They weren't mentioned. Damn it! <laughs> I'll say this for the Von Oberwalds. They had class. There were uh, many homes in... Well, maybe... I'm trying... So, I'm going up here because I, I think I have to go up here to do stuff, but I have to hit the keys on my keyboard, so that's why I'm messing up. The painting... Oh, there's a painting. Huh, what do you know? The painting bore a striking resemblance to Carlotta. The Duchess Charlotte von Uberwald, nay Neapoldi, my predecessor in a sense. Oh, are you a Duchess? No, but the resemblance is impressive, isn't it? My husband was struck by it from the moment I met him. Where is your husband? Dear Ulrich passed away during a civil... We, we already went over this. ...several years ago. Quite a terrible business, actually. Peasants, pitchforks, burning torches, the usual sort of thing. Usual? For Uberwald, certainly. Their ways may seem barbaric, but it's just the way things have always been done. If there wasn't a civil uprising every few years, I do believe the nobility would be most disappointed. Dying at the hands of a mob in a burning castle is practically traditional. Tradition important to you, is it? Ever the investigator, eh, Luton? Even your employer isn't beyond suspicion. My old boss used to say that everyone was guilty of something. And what are you guilty of? Too many things, sweetie, but nothing you need to know about. Yeah, too many things. Jeez. So what's the story with you and Ulrich? 
Do you believe in love at first sight, Luton? It saves a lot of time, certainly. Ulrich fell for me the moment we met. I guess seeing that painting every day probably helped. Don't sell yourself short. You have a few assets of your own. I'm sure it was an equitable transaction. You think I married him for his money? Did you? Let me tell you something, Luton. I've been rich, and I've been poor. Rich is better. Did you love him? Does it matter? It matters to me. Maybe I did. I guess it depends on what love is. Love is a moment of weakness that allows someone to hurt you. More than you ever thought possible. Men were given the strength to be brutes to women, and women were given love to wreak their revenge. Who was she, Luton? Who? The one who left you with such a high opinion of women. She must have been quite a gal. No one talk about it. You wanted to know how the case was going. A girl's got to have hobbies. I think I'm getting somewhere. We're all getting somewhere, Luton. The question is, am I going to like where you're going? I guess we'll just have to find that out the old-fashioned way. That's me, an old-fashioned girl. Like the girl in the picture. The Duchess? She was quite a trendsetter in her era. She wore her dress so high, you could almost see her ankles. My Ooh. heart is pounding at the thought. What? I don't have much to tell you about the case, I'm afraid. You still haven't found Mundi? Not yet. I might do a better job if I had more money at my disposal. Ah, yes, of course. You haven't been paid yet. Well, it had crossed my mind. I'm sure I could sort something out. I didn't doubt that she could. The question was, would she? And more to the point, when would she? What can you tell me about the Duchess? The Duchess Charlotte von Uberwald. Born Charlotte Ameliorati Victoire Tangerine Leopoldine. She married the Duke when she was 13, which was the style at the time. She was considered a risque dilettante by most of the nobility of Uberwald, and rumors well, abounded was that she caused the heart attack that killed the Marquis of Grand Mal when she showed him her naked knees. Her corset was said to be Jeez. so tight that her first pregnancy went into extra time, and her first and only son had learned his first word by the time he was born. You're pretty good on this family history business, then. I double. Did she wear an onion on her belt? As well? I need your help. I'm not hard to get, Luton. All you have to do is ask. I need your knowledge. I need to find a particular tomb in the Salachi Mausoleum, but I don't know enough about genealogy. You do. The Salachi Mausoleum? That could be trouble. Don't worry. I'm not going to mess with the tombs. I know better than to offend a family whose ties with the Assassin's Guild go back to its very foundation. I no, just want to not. see if someone's buried there. Who's the stiff? A troll named. We Thoma. just say it a lot. I used to be with it. Troll. Then they changed what it was. You don't get much stiffer than now that. Now what I I'm with isn't it? Will you help and me or not? And what's it seems weird and of course, scary to me. Although I'm not really properly to dressed you. for a mausoleum. You don't mind waiting while I get changed? It's not like Therma's going anywhere. If Sarah's not too busy, the master of the house wishes a word with you. And if I am too busy? The master of the house still wishes a word with you, and I shall be forced to beg. That sounds like it could be fun. Did I say beg, sir? I meant resort to violence. In which case, lead the way. <laughs> Wait, have we hit, like, a cutscene? Who's the master of the house? Wait, what? I'm confused. Mr. Luton. Oh, that's the master of the house. As I understand it, my daughter-in-law has retained you to investigate a certain matter for her. That's correct. Then I take it you will be a frequent visitor to my house. It seems likely. Do you know who I am? I know that they call you the Count. Do you know why they call me the Count? 
Because I am a count. Count Henning von Überwald. Okay. One of the Blintz von Überwalds, I ought to add. Because, <laughs> frankly, Überwald had an uncountable okay. number of counts. And I'm trapped in Ankh more pork at the moment because my current infirmity prohibits me from leaving this room. That doesn't explain why you wanted to see me. I wish to know what my daughter-in-law has you investigating. That's between me and her. Uh, no, Mr. Luton. I rather suspect it isn't. You see, Carlotta's hands are not on the von Überwald purse strings, but mine are. So you're saying I won't get paid unless I tell you what I'm doing? No, I'm implying that. Whether or not you actually get paid is a different issue. What's it to you? I get very bored. I'm interested as to what goes on around me. All right. I'm tracking someone for her. Someone who is missing? That's right. A man named Mundy. Oh, I see. Very well. If you keep me informed on the progress of the case periodically, I will ensure that you receive payment. You said you have to stay in the conservatory. Why? Uh, I'm not a well man, Mr. Luton. It is hard to say how long I have for this world, or indeed if the next world will take me. What's so special about the conservatory? Hank Moorpork is too hot and humid for my tastes. I had the conservatory built especially. It's colder than the rest of the house. I keep it at the temperature I feel most comfortable with. Why so cold? You ask too many questions. I'm an investigator. It's my job. Well, be thankful that I find your impertinence charming. Or else I might be forced to teach you a lesson. In your condition? You would be surprised at just what I can do in my condition. Mr. Luton. Did I ask him questions? What would he know what would he know answers to? Oh he's got, a, he's, got he's got his own page. He's got his own page. Do you know anything about the recent murders? There are always murders in Uberwald. I don't see why these should be any different. I was talking about the murders here in Ankh-Morpork. Mr. Luton, I couldn't be less interested in the petty crimes of this wretched city. Okay, that, that would be a no. I think he's not going to be helpful at all. I, I'll wait, I, I do want to ask him if he knows this dwarf. What do you know about a dwarf named Al Kali? These days, the only people I know are those who come to the mansion. I mean, that's what I wanted to know. Do you know a woman named Ilsa or a man named Two Conquers? These days, the Okay, that would be a no. That's all I care about. Let's go. Let's leave. Is there... I don't know. Where are we going now? Now, let's get this straight. We're looking for a troll named Therma? As far as I know, yes. But she may be in here under the name Madam Lodestone. Okay, then we can rule out the Fornix Sanguis Ceruleus. What? The Blue Blood Vault. We can probably eliminate the heroic decapitated war veterans vault and the thoroughbred pet vault. Do you know what relation this troll had to the Selachi family? Does there have to be one? She wouldn't be buried here if she wasn't. Well, your guess is as good as mine. It took Carlotta a while to work it out, but we eventually found a Madame Lodestone in the Fornix Familus, the servitor's vault. Guess she used to keep the floors real clean or something. Here we are. Madame Lodestone. Oh, man. There's an inscription. Madame Lodestone, singer and retainer of Lord Robert Salachi, 
taken from us when her house collapsed, returning her to the rubble from whence she came. Not much of an epitaph. Still, it's more than I expect mine will say. I'll probably end up with whatever's written on the cement bag round my feet. Blue! It's a clue! Carlotta? Carlotta? She disappeared without even a word. I couldn't work that woman out. Still, she'd found me the tomb, which you left want me the trying onion to decide sound? whether or not to tell All Malachite. Right. Alright, Or an end, you know, Mel, because it was the style of the time. Alright. I guess we're good here. A heavy stone slab covered the tomb of Madame Lodestone, and presumably Therma's body was inside. I tried to move this. Alright. Um... I guess we'll go back to the, the troll and see if we can get him back here, and uh, then we'll probably be done. That's my thought. Yeah, I don't know how much of that clip you want. I was just going to put onion on my belt. Not the whole thing. The whole thing's long. Now we can, now we can actually go down, so that's interesting. All right, we're gonna try go back, going back here. Maybe we can get that grapple, and then we can get into the warehouse, probably. That's what we need the grapple for, to get into the warehouse, I think. I think I need to turn up the uh, speed of this machine. So I'll probably clone it. Okay, that's, that's what I figured. Hello again, Malik. No, I know. Well, I think I found Therma's body. It's in the Salachi Mausoleum. Need to see body. <laughs> okay. Nice to see someone dealing with the grieving process at high speed. Cut straight to the acceptance. It saves a lot of time. The grapple's it? gone. I don't know why I bother sometimes. Where is it at? As if he's listening to me. Maybe it'd help if I hit him with something. Like maybe a really heavy building. Need to see body. <sighs> of course you do. Here's the tomb. Need to see body. Hey, it's going to be pretty ugly in there. I mean, she was crushed under a house. Hey, Van. That'd mess up even a troll. Need to see body. Just do it, buddy. Just do it. Open it. See the gross. Malachite pushed the slab off the tomb like he was opening a jam jar. Inside was some rubble that I assumed was Therma's body. Uh, frankly, there wasn't much to go on. Trolls are rocks, and that's the whole story. Not Therma. Keep looking. Are you crazy? How could you tell? Not Therma. Keep looking. I was beginning to wonder if Malachite was mad. If he was, I could at least make use of it. Okay, I've got no soul. I must be a heel. All right, I'll keep looking. But I've got a problem. There's this building I need to get into, but I can't do it. I need a grappling iron. A grappling iron, like the one you have. Look, I need to borrow your grappling iron. Do you understand? Give you a hook. You find Therma. That's the deal. I couldn't help but wonder what it meant if that rubble wasn't Therma. Had Sapphire lied to me, I wouldn't be surprised. Frankly, I was more surprised by people telling me the truth than telling lies. 
Flies flow like water, but the truth burns. Hm, that's not a bad line. I better write that down. Malachite gave me the grapple and left the mausoleum without another word. Yeah, we got a grapple! And he left the thing off. Oh, no. Man, we're about we're about to be done, Van. We're, we're we're about to be done for the night. I mean, I'm glad you're here, but I was just about to call it quits when we got the grapple. When we got the grapple. All right, let's go back to our office. That's where we're gonna start. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Taco Tuesday, by the way. I'm also going to try and change the speed of this game. I, I have it set. So. I'm going to stop the timer. Timer stop. Alright. Uh, F1. Save. 05. Grapple. Grappling hook. Save. So this is a lot of investigating and a little bit of inventory. Investigating high inventory. Well, I, I don't think I can do it now. I guess I'll try it. I'm gonna quit, though. Quit playing. Yes. 